What's up y'all, this is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry where we just a software engineering by example. In this video we'll learn the difference between const, lit, and var in JavaScript. So let's just jump into the video and show you guys the differences between these little puppies. So let's just jump into the video here. I have uh, some HTML page and uh, the console and let's just show you some the this keyword right so I can declare easily a variable that is called n1 and I can assign it a value right and I can print it very simple stuff right so I have to refresh and you can see that that's how you declare a variable in JavaScript so this is one way to declare it. there are three ways const let and var so let's start with the const and the, the cool thing about const is when you declare a variable and assign it you have to assign it a value if you don't assign it a value you will get yelled at right so you'll get yelled at looks like misinitialized on const declaration you have to assign the value so that's the first thing yeah and once you assign it right another the, the next thing with uh, const is you cannot reassign it right if you try to assign it something else like 10 you will also get yelled at. Look at that assignment to a constant variable, and this is this is really cool, guys, because once JavaScript have some sort of understanding of what this variable is, the JavaScript engines like V8, for example, can make assumptions and optimize the execution of the JavaScript. Uh, code right so, so if I know that in one is always a number I'm gonna make assumption based on that if I know in one is always an object I'm gonna make assumption based on that okay so yeah that's the first thing okay so it's pretty cool so and the 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 next thing that is pretty cool for with for, with const is scoping so you can scope the variable in a way so that it, it is only visible in blocks. So let's show you some examples here. So let's say if I say if n1 is less than 10, which is which it is, right? I'm gonna declare another const into and give it a value of 10, and then I'm gonna print it inside here. Okay. And then let's just do into is equal into, right? I'm gonna print into here, and then outside that block, I am going to branch in one right so let's see what will happen so what we got is we got n2 we got n1 but we got yelled at here what's going on n2 is not defined what are you talking about n2 is right there but because it's inside a block the moment we left the block it was just garbage collector was removed from the memory it was just gone right so you cannot access it and this is pretty useful if you think about it because you want to declare variables inside blocks especially loops and and if statements right and you once you're done with them you don't want to carry them over because this introduces a lot of bugs in the process all right so that's that's the next thing right so const can be scoped cannot be reassigned has to be reinitialized and it also can actually be modified. So if you're coming from a language like Java or C sharp, you're gonna you'll think that const is not really a constant per se. Let me show you an example. So let me declare a, an object here called movie and uh, and uh, I don't know terrible movie Avenger Surg for example here. And uh, I although you can just print this right you just go ahead and print this there's no problem with that right Avengers but what you can do although you cannot assign it anything else right because this we, we will get yelled at right when I do this we'll get yelled at when I do this but when I do this when I add it like an object to a property like year equal 2015 is that right that is completely fine. You can add as many objects as you can. So then, let me show you. Let me actually debug that thing right with you guys. So if I do that, it will totally be okay. It is totally okay to change the object, but you cannot reassign it. And the reason is, comes back to point number one, is 
hey, I have assigned this thing, it's an object, I don't care if you change that object. All I need to know is it's still an object. That's what the engine is care to know, right? If, it, if it's not an object, then it's a problem, right? So because it makes assumption based on that. Okay, guys, so that was the objects. Similarly, you can, you can do const movies and make it an array, right? And uh, let's make this up, sure. And then movies, similarly, I just made an array called movies. It's a constant, so I cannot reassign it, but guess what? I can add stuff to it. I'm going to add a new movie to this. And then I'm going to print that movie, because why not? Right? So if I refresh, all without any problems, guys. So that's pretty cool, guys, right? So so that's what constants is, right? So we're gonna talk about what to use, what not to use. So let is the second type of declaring variables. All right, is uh so before we jump to let is like I want to show you like things that you cannot do with const. Like we, we talked about this, like we said that n1 is equal to Eight, and we said n1 is equal to 10 and we got yelled at because of that correct right so another thing you cannot do is you cannot reassign any variable to it you cannot do n1 is equal n1 plus 1 right obviously because you're still reassigning stuff to it right you cannot obviously do n plus plus right because it's still n1 n plus plus is nothing but n1 equal n1 plus 1 so you cannot do any of that you cannot do a loop right like that this is not acceptable in const because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever right this will fail right but here's here's the cool thing this will actually go here assign it which is totally fine right and then we'll go and print and then we'll try to increment this is one where where it will actually fail we'll try to increment that i right so uh, so that's that's the const variable all right guys so the second type is let and let in a nutshell is exactly like const the only difference is the first two you can without any trouble declare an uh, n1 without initializing that is totally fine all right you can have a number n1 okay and you can change it to another number hell you can also assign it to an object and then you can make it an array who stops you this is beautiful javascript guys you can do whatever you want right so that's that's what let does okay and it still carries the same uh properties where it's scoped into blocks right so if you declare it within a block it will remain into the block right so if you do loops obviously always do loops with with let right so i equal then i plus plus and you can do that obviously without any problem right so you can always do that right we just printed the loop okay so let is exactly like const but it does not have the requirement to be reassigned you can you can always reassign it you can uh, leave it uninitialized that's okay as well the value i think it will be undefined for science let's confirm that what is the value of an uninitialized variable it is undefined okay so undefined is unutilized and uh, the final thing is var rest in peace so var all right is is the classical way of of doing uh the javascript uh, initialization variables and you can obviously assign a variable to it right but the the awful thing about var is is it is extremely expensive to to uh to manage in the browser and, and i'll tell you why and uh, that and, uh, and and why you should stop using it right because if i do this right and uh, i declare like a variable var equal uh, into equal uh, i don't know nine and then you do console.log and then do yeah sure let's do into 
right? I'm gonna print in two. If I do that, and then I'm gonna print in one here, what I'm gonna get is, I'm gonna get results, right? So what happened here is, we printed in two here, right? We got the first value, and then we printed in one, which is seven, that's okay, but we attempted to print in two, and we got the value, and the reason is, in two is still lingering there. It's still, it's still there because it attached itself to this global object that is called window. So if I do a window in one, look at that. Look at that, guys. It's right there. So window will become this global object which already exists in the browser and any var variable will attach itself to this thing okay and you can imagine with million thousands of variables later you can attach yourself to this or stuff so it's a security problem it's a it's it's an unnecessary memory initialization and keeping all this object huge especially if you have objects oh my god that'll be horrible if you declare object arrays and just leave them just hanging on the window object that is just bad right so all right uh so that's that's the var object right so obviously kind of like let you can assign it obviously you can leave it uninitialized but summary let's summarize what we learned today right always used const always 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 when you declare things always use const if you need to reassign the value to the your variable use let right otherwise never use var just const and let right and in my programming experience with javascript now and i've noticed that i barely use let like e only on loops really right if i do loops i have to uh, i have to do less otherwise it's always constant you do a node.js you do require anything really just use const all the time because of the optimization we talked about all right guys hope that was useful if you like this video give it a like and uh, write your comments any suggestion if i said anything wrong if i if you disagree right and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next one consider subscribing to this channel we talk about software engineering we talk about this kind of bite-sized tutorials right and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome